This is Tracy Nix, and you're watching CCW Alive. Tyler, we're back, Passion the Brew 46. Awaiting on the entrance of Stallion Rogers. Rogers, an unbelievable competitor, Tyler. One of the best in the world right now, Stallion Rogers. World traveled, but he has made the last territory his home this last year. And man, he has been looking unstoppable, damn. We've seen him one tag team gold with Danny Briggs. And he has just been putting on showcase after showcase in singles competition. But tonight, he faces something like he has never seen before. Skits. That guy's out of his mind. Skits been getting a little bit dark lately, though. He has and so many question marks around Skits, but you know what? This is something I know for sure. Stallion Rogers doesn't care at the end of the day. Stallion Rogers is a prize fighter. He will take off anyone's head that the last territory sends to him. And all he cares about is getting this victory here tonight and getting closer to some gold here in the last territory. What strikes me about, about uh, Stallion Rogers? I'll wait for the introduction. Representing Monster Rock. The thing, Tyler, that strikes me about Stallion Rogers is the guy looks like he's bored out of his mind. He, and just tossing his green gear, that smirk on his face. Yeah, he's really nonchalant in that ring. I, I well, think until the bell rings. Until the bell rings. He's almost like a cold-blooded killer, like an assassin. Like, he comes in here professional, doesn't have any facial expressions. Look, he's got his back turned towards Skitch. Who does that? But once that bell rings, man, he is just cerebral in that ring. Let's talk about Skits, the yeah. schizophrenic one. Now, his dominant personality is a very jovial character, but the darker personalities have been making their way through, and I've seen more of them than I have in the jovial Skits. Yeah, Skits, uh, there's something going on in his mind that I could not even comprehend. We don't even know if Skits can comprehend it. Let's talk about that last breakout. Uh, Monster Mosh teaming up with Agony. Skits releasing these videos showing that he's in the head of Agony, almost a puppet master. A lot of movement. Yeah, how the tables turn on that one, right? Absolutely, Dan. Ever since that Drag Me to Hell match, we never saw Agony since then, but then Skits awoke, awoke Agony and has ever since been in control of him. We'll see where that goes, but tonight Skits has to worry about the monster in front of him in Stallion Rogers. Well, it's going to be an outstanding contest, in my opinion. We'll see if it lives up to the expectations. Rogers, as we said, a world traveled wrestler, uh, Tyler. Yeah, he's been all over the place. He's been in Japan, he's been in NXT, but now he's really been dominating the last territory. This is a great case of one of our hardest strikers versus one of our most resilient guys in Skits. I mean, Skits knows how to take a punch or two. Wait, that's his strong point, is his nuts. Skits are fun. Stallion Rogers sometimes doesn't look like he's all there, too. I can tell you what, Stallion Rogers is all there. A very cerebral competitor. He's almost got that those psychopathic tendencies, the way he's just doesn't care about things and just loves inflicting punishment on his opponents. But you see, nothing really rattles him. Right. Rogers now with a waist lock. Skits looking for an escape. Nice standing switch. Oh, he <laughs> slapped him in the back of the head. Skits very proud of himself. 
And look at that Stallion, though. We're seeing a little bit of that crack in there. Stallion almost taken aback that Skids would even attempt to do something like that. Rogers now with a hand extended in the air. That's maybe a little test of strength here for Skids. Skids. Greco Roman knuckle lock now. And both hands locked. Skids have one of those buzzers on his hand. That, oh that shock you when he shakes his hand. Is that legal? <laughs> Probably not. I guess he just relinquished it to the referee. Rogers will see a clothesline. Skits sticks the drop kick right in the chest. Pulls him up. One, two. Only a two count. And now Stallion Rogers, I think, for the first time we've seen in the last territory, an, an expression on his face, an expression of shock and dismay. He might very well have uh, taken Skits a little too lightly. Skits just laughing. Okay. I'll give you that one, buddy. See, I really respect what you do, and I appreciate the moment. Now, I don't know what we have here. Stallion giving them credit where credit is due. I think he's sucking a little bit there. Yeah, there it is. Boy, oh boy, he just clubbed him that overhand chop. Sometimes that joyful personality of Skids can be a little bit gullible and get suckered into that. But then this starts to happen. Yeah, this is something I've not seen from Skids before. Looks like he's disrobing. Yeah, that challenging him to hit him in the chest. That personality switch has happened. That light switch has flickered in Skids head and he has a new personality out there. That is way more aggressive, and he wants an open shot from Stan Rogers. And Roger is more than happy to comply. Oh my goodness gracious. And he drops the knee across the chest, goes for the cover one, and we got a one count. Skits ever resilient. That might have been one of the craziest things Skits has ever done, is let Stallion Rogers have an open shot at him. Oh, and he is paying for it, Dan. Well executed belly to back suplex. Oh, wait a minute, Rogers. Senton. That Let's watch the language. That attitude of Rogers just is horrible. He's such a great competitor, but man, his attitude and the way he carries himself absolutely disgusting sometimes. Skits backpedaling, trying to create some separation for Rogers right in after him. Forearm right to the side of the head. Ooh, man. He nailed him again. Skits now down in a seated position. At size 12. Scraping against the face. Absolutely disrespecting Skits right now. And he just is back on it. Man, standing on him with that left boot and face washing on the right. Skits in trouble now. Rogers in complete control. Skits though firing back some left and right to the midsection. Meeting with some success. Oh! He just leveled him with that back elbow. Skits went to the ropes again, gets him momentum. But Rogers is waiting for him. Stallion in complete control of this one. Going at the pace he loves, this slow, methodical pace. Picking apart his opponent just like that. He drop right across the chest. Rodgers has had tremendous success as a tag team with Danny Briggs. Briggs injured, and Rodgers, going back to singles competition, has been incredibly successful thus far. And it looks like he's on his way to another victory here tonight. It looks that way, Dan, unless Skits goes and flips another light switch and gets some fire under him. But right now, it is all Stallion. And look how he's just stalking Skits, just sauntering behind him, ready to deal more punishment. Rogers with a handful of hair, having a few choice words. Oh, man! Skits is done. I think he just got knocked out, Dan. He could have just broken it. That open hand, open hand slap, but he caught him right across the jaw. And Skits still up. Yeah. 
Oh, well, he's struggling to get back to his feet. He might, he might have really rung his bell there. Rodgers is going to help him up. Driving into the corner, and again, another overhand chop. Hard into the buckle, goes skits. Man, did you see how he came out face first and threw right off that buckle? He just ate that canvas. This one's going to be over here soon, I think, Dan. Rodgers measuring him now. Could be looking to finish the job. Oh, man, that boot caught him right across the face. Sweep of the leg and driving that knee into the jaw. This one might just be all but over. Stallion Ross is just toying with skits now. What's he looking for here, Dan? Oh, man! Ooh, drop kick in the corner. Connects. Rogers very proud of himself here, taking his time going for the cover, though. Man, not going for the cover. Oh, and he just. Stopped on both feet. Oh. Back up. oh, spiked him with a DDT, Dan. He pulled him back up, only to drop him down with a DDT, and two, a and only gets a two count. I thought that one was it, the way that Skits' head got spiked there, but Skits keeps on fighting. He is resilient. Rogers now with Skits. And another knife edge chop puts him on the mat. You see every one of those chops in the chest. Skits his chest just gets more bruised, more butchered. Man. The crowd chanting for Skits, trying to bring him back oh, into this. He's bleeding from his chest, Dan. His chest is getting Oh, but look at this. The schizophrenic one, he keeps popping up, he keeps fighting. Oh, he drove a knee right into his face. That could be it, Dan. Skits now, 25 feet across the ring with a head of steam. Stallion doesn't even know where he's at right now. Skits has come alive and so has the Take Brewing Company. Skits now going up to the top. Rogers in the center of the ring. I can't believe he's flying. Beautiful cross body, hooked One, the leg. Two, three. No. Oh, he didn't get him. Almost. And look at that, Skits. Dunk that one. Now going all the way down. Satellite oh. DDT beautifully executed. That, that is going to do it. One, two, two three. three. Oh, oh no. he got his shoulder up in the last moment. Stallion Rogers lives on in this one. Man, look at the chest of Skits, but he doesn't give a damn. Skits keeps on in this one. He's got to keep on with the momentum, Dan. Skits now looking for that pump handle. Not a move you often see from him. Oh! Headbutt right to the face. And that could be the end to this one. That could have put out the fire that was under Skits. Rogers checking to make sure he didn't just bust himself open with that headbutt. Now just, look at he's dead lifting him, Dan. He's got him in that waist lock. Oh! Good. Vicious German suplex. Now slowly going over, cover. And that's got to do it. One, One two, two, and Skits able to raise that right shoulder. It's that nonchalant cover by Stallion Rogers. Skits has a big smile on his face there. Well, that's just the painters. He actually smiles. <laughs> I couldn't tell you when it comes to Skits. Oh. Discus forearm has him up. Oh! Neck breaker across the knee, and Matt could do it. One, two, and Skits again, raising that left shoulder. And I blame Rogers for that nonchalant cover. He could have had him if he'd have hooked the leg and had weight across his chest. Instead, wait a minute. Skits sitting up and just waving. Stalin can't even believe it. And now, oh, stomps him down. He didn't get all of that one. But he hooks a leg this time, one, two, and Skits able to power out. Kick out after kick out. The schizophrenic one will not die here tonight. Rogers now rolling to the outside. What does he have in mind out there? Well, he's got to be thinking, Dan, what can he do to put away Skits? Well, he's looking under the ring now for some plunder. Looks like, well, if he uses anything over there, he's going to get disqualified. Look at the, whoa! Oh my goodness, it's agony! 
He is here at Bash at the Bro 46, and he just took that chair away from Stallion. Tyler, he grabbed the chair, but attached to the other end of it. We were talking about how Agony is under the control Skits. Skits is the puppet master of Agony. Leave that roll up. One, two, two three. three. He got, got him. him. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Skits got the one, two, three, and give the thanks to the monster Agony. Wow, what has Skits unleashed on the last territory now? Being in charge of agony. Yeah, Skits seems to be in complete control of the maker of nightmares. And Roger cannot believe what just happened. He cannot look at the dismay on his face. What a huge win for Skits. Now questioning the referee in the cadence of his count. Well, Tyler, what do you make of what we just saw here? We just saw an absolute insanity with Agony coming up from under the ring here at Bachelor Brew 46. Boca Stone Design, from fabrication to installation of natural stone and quartz. Sick of seeing the same old kitchen? Revamp with us. Call us today or check us out online at bocastonedesign.com. You worked hard, started a family, and created a name for yourself in your professional circles. Your success created opportunities for your loved ones, to your family and community. You are a source of wisdom and financial support, and you take immense pride in putting others' needs ahead of your own. In these closing chapters of your life, a private estate at the Gardens of Boca Raton can memorialize your family name across generations. The Gardens of Boca Raton, two-time winner of Best of Palm Beach County. Father, we're back. The authority, Eddie Torres, with the good doctor, Eric Christopher. They're looking to finish what they started at Bash of the Brew 45 where Eddie Torres said he felt disrespected into, into that match, and he wanted to teach Domino a lesson more than actually even winning the match. And we saw it, hit him with the low blow, then assaulted him with his own championship belt, smacked him right over the head. Then he had Eric Christopher talking nonstop trash, and they said this is the time where now they take that Southeastern Championship away from Domino. Well, Dr. Eric Christopher never goes into a match without a battle plan for his protege. Dr. Eric Christopher told me that they did a great job at humiliating Domino at last match in the brew, and now they want to take everything away from Domino here tonight.
Well, Tyler, we're waiting for the champion. And there he is. Greeting his fans at ringside. Domino, the Southeastern Heavyweight Champion, and one of the most popular wrestlers here in CCW. They love him at the tank. They love him. He's in his own backyard here in the 305, rocking that D-Wade jersey. And Domino is looking to get that vengeance against Eddie Torres, who spoiled the night for Domino. You know, Bachelor Proof 45 was very special for Domino. You know, debuting here at the Tank Brewing Company, representing the Southeast as SEC champion. But Eddie Torres humiliated him, like I said, and now Domino wants that revenge in the worst way. And they couldn't be more diametrically opposed experience-wise, Torres. More than 20 years in the wrestling industry. Domino celebrating his first year. But boy, has he come on strong, Tyler. He has one of the fastest, hottest rising stars here in the last territory. Won that Southeastern Championship at Bash of the Brew 44, defeating Jackal Stevens. And he has been on a roll ever since, proudly representing South Florida as Southeastern champion. Referee for this contest, Amy Veronica. Probably the best here in CCW, in my opinion. He calls for the bell. Oh, they go right at it. Domino with a flying clothesline out of the gate. Driving a clothesline into the corner, Domino is fired up. Torres hard into the buckle, and Domino all over him. This one might be over just as quickly as it started, Tyler. Eddie Torres made this personal, and now Domino's teaching him a lesson. Driving that elbow into the chest, Torres wisely rolling out of the ring. Wasting no time was Domino. And again, Domino having none of it out after him. Torres saw him, but he misses wildly with a right hand. Domino catches him with a right, and a knife edge chop. Domino is fired up here at Bash 46. He is putting it on Eddie Torres right now. Oh, but he caught him with that boot to the midsection. Domino blocking that, slamming his head on the apron of the ring. Whatever game plan Torres had coming out, it is out the window, Tyler. Look out from behind, Dr. Eric Christopher. <laughs> Oh, oh, of course, that's the MO of the good doctor and the authority. Aaron Christopher distracting Domino, and now Eddie Torres well, in they better, Tyler, they better pay attention to that count. A.B. Veronica up to a seven count now. They're up to eight. A blatant choke. Amy stopping her count to warn Torres, but she is deep into that count, and now finally, Torres throwing Domino back into the ring, which is the only place where he can win that title. Torres now looking to slow down Domino. Torres driving the knee into the side of the head. Might have caught him in the jaw, Tyler. It looks like a Domino a little bit rocked, trying to get his bearings under him. Oh, big heavy-handed chop by Eddie Torres. And now the good doctor's got that big grin on his face. Torres staying on Domino in the corner. Domino trying to fight his way out. But instead, Torres drags him out, slams him in the center of the ring. Goes for the cover. One, two, only a two count. Torres with a slap to the face. Trying to raise the ire of Domino. Domino firing back. Reversal. Oh, oh man. Torres caught him right coming off the ropes with a form of the jaw. Now, clubbing, blowing. Look at Torres coming off the ropes. Oh. oh. 
that big could, running cross body. That could be it, Dan. Using all 250 pounds. One, two. I don't know what they're saying, Tyler. The fans are chanting something in Spanish. Neither does Eddie Torres or Dr. Eric Christopher. The fans try and play mind games of their own to help Domino. Oh, oh, give me a break. Christopher with a slap to the face of Domino. I think it angered him more than injured him. That's for sure, Dan. Not much behind that slap. Play got its job done. This Torres now chopping away at Domino. Torres. Vicious. And effective with all of his offense. Domino, though, firing back with right hands. And Domino's not afraid to make this one a slugfest if that's what Eddie Torres wants to do. Torres on wobbly legs for a second, but quickly waist locked. Oh, he drove him back into the corner, then drove him down to the mat with his short arm clothesline. Eddie Torres is on his game, Tyler. He certainly is. Anytime Domino gets that fire under him, and he puts it out. Torres coming very low on the torso, covering on the midsection, leaving Domino's upper body to be able to raise that shoulder. Torres got him wide. Torres with a head of steam out of the way is Domino. Big clothesline. And again. Domino now charging up Torres. Over the top rope he goes. Oh, he missed that clothesline. Caught him with an insecurity. Leaps over the top rope. Out one. of the way of that clothesline. And a flying forearm nails him. Domino pulling out some different tricks out of the bag. He's looking to get control of this one. Eddie Torres fighting in there. Torres throws some elbows. Broke free. Had him up on his shoulder for a moment. Domino. Oh. Modified version of a back suplex. Hooks a leg, two. Domino finally catching a wave of momentum. Can he ride it to victory? Well, it looks like he's struggling to get back to his feet. Torres down in the center of the ring. Now's the time for Domino to really dig down deep and do what he has to to put this one away. Domino maybe now looking to tap in to his inner bad guy. He could be looking for the domino effect here, Tyler. Torres had it scouted. Drives him into the turnbuckle. Oh, oh nice spinning leg kick and by the big man. For the big man, he moves so damn fluid in that ring. Now Dan could be looking to finish off Domino here. Oh, oh. sit out power bomb. Not going for the cover immediately, and that's a mistake. Hooks the leg. One, two, and he barely got that shoulder up. I thought we had a new Southeastern champion here, Wow, well, it doesn't get much closer than that, Tyler. Even Eddie can't believe it. Look, he's Torres with a look of shock on his face. Thought he had him there. And had he gone for the cover immediately, he may just have. Torres now going outside, unfamiliar territory. I don't agree with this. He had Domino down, and here does Dr. Eric Crisper, but looks like Eddie Torres gonna fly, Dan. Oh, oh. Domino out of the way. No. Torres just ate a mouthful of that. No water in the pool there. Now Domino's got him. Oh! Driving him down with a modified Enziger. It's not modified Uranagi. Goes for the cover. One, two. Torres, ring veteran, so smart. Great ring awareness. Gets his foot on the rope. He's a ring general in there, Dan. He knows where he's at at all times in that ring. Now Domino showing signs of frustration. Oh, wait oh, a minute. Dr. Eric Christopher just snatched that Southeastern title off the... Wait a minute. He slid in the ring, Dan. And now he's, he's getting up on the apron. Come on, ref. Now Turn he's distracting around. the referee. Amy. Torres has that title belt. Domino stops on it. And look at this, Domino, Domino, Domino effect. Domino right onto effect. that, right onto that belt. One, two, three, he got him. Christopher's plan backfire, he was completely unaware.
Domino victorious in controversial fashion. But that, of course, was brought on by Dr. Eric Christopher Tyler. Like you said, Dan, that plan backfired big time for Dr. Eric Christopher and the authority. Great heads up and awareness by Domino to stop Eddie Torres and hit that Domino effect to retain the Southeastern Championship. And you know that's got to feel good for Domino to get that vengeance against Eddie Torres and the good doctor. Well, big victory for the hometown favorite. The Tank Brewing Company likes what they see here tonight. Domino continues his path as Southeastern champion. He is looking great, Dan. It's going to take a lot to take that championship away from that man. Oh, oh, he's got a hold of Dr. Eric Christopher. Oh, Boot he put to the midsection. Domino, Domino effect. effect. Oh, no. Well, they got to say the good doctor had it coming. The good doctor not having a good night. Do you want to be a mark? Or do you want to leave a mark? I'm smarter than the average bear.